October 8, 2020. In dreams, I was, in the distance, observing a house. I realized that this was a family home, as I saw a husband, wife and children. I was referred to get closer to this house and I was able to see that everyone enjoyed their stay there in perfect harmony. Soon I saw a large gray cloud approach the house and it stopped on top of it. I then saw that a lady came knocking on their door and asked that family to stay for a few days. The family welcomed her with pleasure, and as the days went by, she learned of the family's vulnerability and undermined their foundations with criticism, suggestions, and flattery. I saw that a strong fight was being waged, and everything was almost inevitable. I saw that, previously, that lady had arrived at that house before, and everything was changed in the place. Her mocking suggestions, with supposed mocking wisdom, made her stand out from the simplicity of family life. She had a long conversation with the head of the family, who altered the course of family life without her noticing it, like this, she went undermining that family. Now, upon arriving and fully entering the family bosom, her uncontrolled desire to assert her will created imbalance and discontent in that family. When I saw this I said, Oh, Lord, what to do? I was told, Observe. I saw how that beautiful family was shaken, I saw how that cloud remained over that house. There was lightning coming from it, thunder, it was raining heavily, but soon I saw how each of those who were there, especially the husband and wife, cried out individually to the Lord, to the Eternal, for wisdom and guidance from on high. Soon, I saw a person approaching that house, he knocked on the door, he entered. And, upon entering, I saw that a very bright light came out of this person, a blinding light that covered every corner of that house. And, like this, the cloud was withdrawn from that place, and the lady that undermined was also withdrawn from that place. Beloved, there I woke up. Oh beloved! The family bosom is so sacred. Let's not allow anyone to come in and undermine the foundations of love, the foundations of trust, the foundations of peace. All of these based on a it is written, all of these holding from the source that is Christ Jesus. Beloved, let us be vigilant, constant in prayer, asking for wisdom from on high, clinging to the eternal. Beloved, I have seen how the enemy, throughout the scriptures, twists everything so that we can misunderstand things and fall into his clutches. Let us ask the Lord for discernment, let us not open the word without prayer, with total humiliation before God. All arrogance, all pride, all exaltation of self, the only thing that will bring us, is suffering, for us, for those we love, and it will cost us, if we continue on that course, eternal life. O oh, beloved! Tremendous dangers lie before us. Let us seek the Lord with all our hearts because we are still with those on foot. We still need to be with those on horseback. And, certainly, all those of us who overcome in His name, will go to another level, to another level in Christ Jesus. By His grace, by His mercy, because by ourselves we are nothing. He is polishing us, He is bringing out, and He wants and yearns to have, those titans of faith who are going to overcome by His power, by His justice, by his mercy, on this earth, on this terrain, Satan and his agents. Let us seek God with all our hearts, beloved, because it is the only way we can be able to overcome before what we have and before what lies ahead. May the Lord bless us.